Hi everyone and welcome to the third video in the Unity 3D Scripting API series. Now in this video we are going to talk about the start event method. So just to recap, mono behavior is the base class from which every Unity script derives. So any Unity 3D script that you create will extend from the mono behavior class. And like we said before that the mono behavior class will execute events in a predetermined order and we also talked about methods and how method a method is a function that performs a specific task so for example whatever code is written inside the start method will execute on the first frame of the game okay so let's talk about the start method this method is called on the first frame of the game before the update method is called and after the awake method on application pause on application focus and on enable methods so this is what i meant by the mono behavior class will execute events in a predetermined order so the start method is called after the awake on application pause on application focus and on enable methods but before the update method so the start method is called only once in the life cycle of a script attached to an object. It is executed only if the script component is enabled. And you will see this added automatically to your scripts when you create them. And so why do we need a start method? Now, Often you will set up variables or make references to other game objects from a script before the game begins. And this will happen inside of the start method. And this is what the start method looks like. So let's have a look at it in our Unity 3D editor. So I'm going to create a script and let's call this cube controller again and press enter and when I double click and open it in Visual Studio you'll see that void start and void update are added to my script automatically so out here void means that there is no return value from the start method now an important thing that I want you to keep in mind is that when we make a script, we have to attach it to a game object. So out here, I've made a 3D game object, a cube. And the way to attach this script to the cube is to simply drag and drop it in the inspector window. So out here, you can see that the cube controller script is now attached to my cube game object okay so let's open up this script and let me debug dot log and hello so when we play when we press play let me go ahead and save it i should see the word hello in my console so let's go ahead and press Play. and here you can see I have the word hello in my console okay now come back to scene view and let's disable this script okay and I'm going to now play again so let me clear the console and play again and now you see that there is nothing in the console okay and this is what i meant by that it's that the code within the start method is executed only if the script component is enabled so if we enable the script component okay so if we enable it and play it now we should see the word hello and there you go so we see it 
okay and this is all for the start method in the next video we are going to cover the update method which is also automatically added whenever you make a new script and that's all for now if you like these videos go ahead and subscribe